Hi everyone, welcome to the extended demo for Midnight Hollow. In the last live broadcast, I introduced everyone to the world. Uh, we, we didn't really have enough time to get into the nitty gritty, and one of my favorite things in broadcasts was to walk you through each of the items and what I love about them and everything that makes them great. So we're going to go ahead and do that here today. Um, as I mentioned before, this world does have a number of new items, and I think you guys are really going to like them, including a couple of tweaks to some plants that you may have seen in base game. Um, just to clear one thing up before we get started, we have seen a number of questions from people asking if this is um, a retail bundle like Dragon Valley or for sim points like Aurora Skies. This is going to be for sim points just like Aurora Skies, so you can either use the sim points you have or purchase our limited time Midnight Hollow themed sim point bundle. Um, it's actually a great value at the $60 price point because it gives you a ton of extra points and three bonus items specifically for for this bundle. Um, but it's going to be for some points, so if you have them and you've been squaring them away, you can use those as well, um, just to let you know. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right on into the game and I'll show off all of the objects that we have in the world. Okay, so I've made this custom house. It's a little ugly, I know, but all of the custom houses I make to show off objects have to be ugly because they include everything. Uh, we have a ton of new walls and floors in this world, so I decided to make a first floor dedicated entirely to the new walls and floors. We have lots of colors, lots of patterns, but these are the base presets. Uh, what I love about these is we could take these really fun shapes and make them kind of in tune with the color palette we were playing with for the world. So things will get a little more gray and a little more bleak, but um, you'll still be able to keep the fun shape and the fun contour to go along with uh, all of the mini floors, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 new floors here. <laughs> we had to did ourselves a little bit. Um, but they were, you know, they were really fun to play with and really fun to use uh, while decorating throughout the world. We also have a slew of brand new walls of, of various textures, of various patterns, um, some concrete. We have a couple of brickwork here. We have some paneling. There's a really fun tile. Um, there's the paneling. Lots of different wallpaper, some made out of stone. And again, they're all texture compositable, color completable. You can change it to pretty much whatever you like. Um, we have a number on our outdoors. Let's raise the walls here. We have a set. Um, again, you know, as we were trying to make this a bit of a gritty world, we wanted um, some outer paneling for the walls that look a little roughed up. So the paint's chipping and peeling a little bit here. You can see on the left, and we have one for the right, and of course the panels in the middle. Uh, we have this fun one here that actually really outlines windows really, really well. Uh, again, another with the left, right, and center with some of, bit of the peeling paint you see for the outside of your home. This lovely wallpaper, that's actually for indoors, but I ran out of wall space with all of our walls, so I stuck it outdoors. Uh, we have um, this the standalone panel here, or the left, right, and center here. Uh, we have another one that uh, covers windows quite well. And we have these others that create sort of an archway here, uh, giving the look of, you know, sort of a, a porch way. Uh, again, with the peeling paint and this other lovely one here that gives you a, uh, when put together, here's the left, there's the right, there's the center. When put together, it gives you a nice little column appeal. Uh, we passed by the fence, so let's jump to that because I love it and I wanted to show it off. Uh, this is the first fence that we've made, at least in the store, I'm not sure about all of the EPs, that has the, um, the paneling at the top as well. So this is a full story fence. So when it's put uh, on a porch, it actually gives uh, the look of being completely underneath the building, as if it was fully built there. Again, it's tileable. Um, Let's actually get out of this so I can show you. Select the fence here. You can use one or many and it will continue to tile across wherever you'd like. It's a wonderful fence. Uh, creates a great porch appeal and I absolutely love it. Uh, here are our new doors. We actually created a door set. There's the shop door as I'm sure you guys are all familiar. Um, 
we wanted to see what we could do with the doors that's just, you know, a little modular. Uh, so if we start out with a door like this and chop it into pieces, how many doors can we create? So we have the, the double door here uh, without the outer ring. We have the double door with just the top part. And we have the single door made completely from this door. So you have four separate doors that create their own door set. Um, well, here's our outdoor light. I absolutely love its gothic appeal. Uh, it <laughs> it's actually can go indoors. It's a little tall for indoors, so you might not want to use it there. Uh, but the game does actually allow you to place it indoors, so there's that. Uh, we have the hippocamps. Oh, that's actually for the venue. Let me get to that in just a moment. I should start upstairs with the rest of the stuff that's specifically for the world. Um, here's our new fireplace. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the uh, the detail work on this one. It's really pretty uh, and You know fits to the wall very well. Uh, we have this a brand new stove and a brand new refrigerator uh, themed with the world I love the old-timey look of the stove uh, it fits in with the vintage appeal. We're going for We have two different lights uh, two candelabras one here uh, again, they they don't have to be gold that is not um that's not a requirement. You can change that entirely, change all the colors, change the textures, anything you want with this one. It's, it's customizable and you can create a lamp that fits your theme. So we have one for the table and one for the floor. We have these new windows. Here's a tall one and um, actually hiding on the first floor is the short one. So we have two uh, gothic themed windows there. Uh, th these are our paintings. There are actually two tall and two wide. Um, these are th the different stencils on either of those paintings. I frankly love this one. It's a pretty classic variation of a very famous uh, photo, so uh, I'm quite a fan. This is our incredible uh, statue that was actually made for the graveyard but can be placed in the home. Um, the modeler who made this did a fantastic job with the details. Like. I don't think I've ever seen hands in The Sims look quite this good. Um, and you can see the, the skull coming in through the shroud. It's a gorgeous and haunting statue that I think you're really going to love. Uh, here's our curtain. It's a bit modular. It has a left and a right piece and a valance in the middle that brings it together. So if you have, you know, four or five windows, um, you can fit them together, piece them around, and uh, make a really customized look there. Ooh, come back, curtain. Here's our uh, wall mirror. Again, fantastic detailing. Um, really great details on the objects in this world, and I think uh, people are really going to enjoy using them. Ooh, messed up on the wall there. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, here's one of our rugs that is not one of the Savvy Seller rugs. The Savvy Seller's collection comes with five rugs, so we had to make one that was just fun to be a rug. Uh, we actually did it in a very fun star-like shape, kind of in theme with the world. Absolutely love the stencil on this one. I think it's gorgeous and I already am using it several places. Uh, here's a sofa that we made that I wish that I owned in real life. I do not, uh, but uh, I love the pin tuck look. This is a great sofa. Uh, it's, again, fantastic with the detailing in the arms, throughout the back. Uh, it's just, it's a really, really nice sofa. Um, oh, another thing that I should mention is I am, <laughs> I'm always fighting to have high environment things with my Sims. So these paintings are pretty cheap. Uh, they're about a thousand a piece and they're environment nine, which is unheard of because, you know, the higher the environment, the more expensive it gets. But my Sims are always poor. So <laughs> they want a couple fancy things in their house without spending the huge bucks. And so here's our dining table. This is just one of the presets. It, does, it can also uh, be changed into uh, wood, of course. Uh, let's just pop down a couple more so you can see a couple more of the presets there. And again, with the classic dark black. Oh, I love that one. That's gorgeous. Um, and our high back dining chair. You know, we love our high back dining chairs in worlds. <laughs> so we, we made another one. Um, and that's uh, it for the world objects. Uh, so let's jump into the venue objects. We have um, these wall uh, shelves here, including toys. There are two variations. You can see things are switched around. And like uh, all of our other shelves, we do make them so they are stackable. Um, ooh, that one's not low enough. Let's drop you low. 
So we can pull another in and you can create your own customized wall shelf there. This is a desk uh, that we made our own workspace for our craftsmen. Along the walls here, you can see all the, the new walls that come in the venue. Again, playing with a lot of patterns. Uh, we wanted to do something fun, especially for the toy shop. Uh, my favorite is actually this one in the corner here. I don't know if you can see the scroll work on this one. We made a bit more high def for a secondary version. You see a lot more detailing there as if it's 3D and popping out at you. Um, quite a fan of that one. We have two signs that turn our, t this is what turns our toy factory into a to toy shop. Aside from the Savvy Salus collection, of course. Uh, we have the two wall signs here, one here, and one that sticks out along the side of the building here. Of course, the Titanic toy machine. Uh, these fantastic posters. Oh, you know what? Let me get back to these posters because they have different stencils as well. So where are you? There are more variations that I didn't even include. So we have the teddy bear one here. And with this one, we also have the toys. Uh-oh, where are you going to fit? Aha, there it is. <laughs> the toys that make it, you can't have a uh, toy shop without uh, the proper posters and signage. Uh, so here's our uh, tools. It's a it's a sculpture, a wall sculpture of tools uh, to further convince people that you are hand making toys when in fact it's the Titanic toy machine. Um, these uh, this is the stool, the work stool to go along with the workbench. Again, you can customize that. The Nutcracker and the creepy toy statue. I'm trying to see if I can get the right angle on this toy statue. So the modeler who made this had a little bit of a sense of humor. And if you turn it, the eyes of the doll actually follow you as you move the camera. That he's he's super creepy. <laughs> um, but this one was was really fun to come up with. Um, so now the other things that you see here are actually things that come out of the Titanic toy machine. These are the toys that it makes. Aside from the blocks, the blocks are come with the venue. Uh, so we have an activity table, and this is just a sample of them. I didn't want to pull them all out um, because you need a little bit of a surprise. So uh, when you get the Titanic toy machine, there are lots of other toys uh, that you'll be able to play with. Uh, but these are just some of them. And I think what I'm going to do... All right, so I've gone ahead and done some crazy movie magic from the, a moment ago when I was in the other house and have created a little Sim family to go to a different house. I apologize for the rough edges here. I had to uh, destroy their landscape a little bit so that I can show you all of the brand new plants. Um, so I mentioned in a tweet a couple weeks ago uh, that Sim Guru Sparkle was doing something special when the base came with the base game plants, and this is the special thing that she did. She went and recolored all of the base game plants. We're talking the roses, the hydrangeas, the fir tree, the spruce tree, all redone um, to fit within this world. So they all have a darker color. They all have a darker theme. Um, some of them in the light purples, the dark blues, the grays, and my absolute favorite over here is the black roses. I was so very excited. I really, really wanted black roses, and we got them. Um, so this is going to be everywhere in my lot. I adore them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, definitely, definitely going still with the theme of pops of colors. You can see in some of the hydrangeas here. I believe these are pansies. And uh, our black and white sunflowers, which I think are also really, really gorgeous and add to the sort of haunted dark look. Uh, the new trees specifically for this world are these sparse looking trees. Uh, this is the wide one, the narrow one uh, that have uh, narrow stumps. This is a large thorny tree and this is the smaller thorny bush. Uh, we didn't have trees in the game that looked sort of dead. Uh, we had the... Um, you know, leafless state with seasons, but we didn't have any that were year round, just kind of dead looking trees. Uh, and we definitely wanted that to sort of fill in a lot of the foliage that you see here going across the world. And they, they work very, very well. I'm excited to see what you guys end up doing with those. Another thing I mentioned, the reason I created The Sims Family, is I wanted to show you guys a couple of toys from the Titanic toy machine, and I just couldn't get it right. So in between with my movie magic there, I ended up creating a new family, uh, just so you can see some of the toys. So mom and dad are here on the couch watching, cuddling, watching their kids have a good time. So this is the baby play mat. It, you can make it in the Titanic toy machine, and 
it's kind of a great piece. It's a little bit like the, um, the baby swing from the Sims 3 store that kind of teaches you bad parenting skills because you can put your child in it and forget them for a while. It's uh, not as uber as the baby swing because um, your, your child will still get lonely. But uh, as you can see, just from them laying in this for a moment, I'm going to speed it up for a sec. You can very clearly see their motives getting higher and higher and higher as it, you know, sways very adorably over them. They rest on the playmat and they're good to go all day. You do want to watch that social meter though because they will continue to get lonely and, you know, you may want to hang out with your kids every now and again. I don't know. Some people like to skip <laughs> the baby stage altogether, so this is a good, a good way for that. Another thing is the clown in a box that I mentioned in the broadcast. Um, I, this is child only, which is why I was unable to uh, let you see it in the broadcast. I didn't have a child in that family. But he spins the box, it plays music, and a clown inevitably pops out. So there's a version that's, yay, it's fun, the clown is great, uh, the child is happy, it's a great boost to fun. Uh, he was already pretty happy, so you didn't get to see quite as much of the boost. But it's a, quite a large boost to fun, and they get a happy clown moodlet. I'm gonna have him play with it again. <laughs> oh, it's happy again. Okay, there is there is an evil clown. Um, it's the screenshot that you saw on the Sims 3 store page for the gold edition. Uh, an evil clown does pop out. Oh no, this baby's too lonely. <laughs> so once the baby does get to a lonely state, they will no longer be entertained. Oh, the evil clown! Oh, what great timing! <laughs> <laughs> so the evil clown does pop out. He's actually pretty evil looking and he does um, scare your child. Oh, I, I think that moodlet is even frightening. Um, so your child does get the scary clown moodlet. Um, who thought keeping a clown trapped in a box all day was a good idea? I don't know. Certainly not me, but I love the evil clown. Uh, again, when your baby gets too lonely, they will no longer be interested in the play mat, but for the most part... You stick them in there and they're there all day. Oh, I'm sorry. One final thing, because I almost forgot and almost forgot again. Uh, earlier when I was showing you the objects, I did not show you the new spiral staircase that came with the world. I love the staircase. So many details on the steps. The entire cutout, how you can see everything through it. This was very, very well made. Uh, and I absolutely love the spiral staircase. Again, can change the textures, can change the colors. Um and it's going to be great. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for objects today. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part of the demo. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. There will be a, a second upcoming part of the demo where I walk through all the cast items. So I hope you enjoyed what we did here today, and I hope to see you again soon. You're going to enjoy it. Bye.